Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Patient, and today I am taking you guys along on my bookshelf tour. So I'm basically going to be showing you all 313 of my books. It took a lot of work just to find out how many books I had. I have a lot of very large series like Nancy Drew and things like that, so I was just counting along, writing on sticky notes, doing math, so school, come at me. I, I'm, I did some math this summer. I, I counted my books. So, quick story time. I know I have not posted the past two Saturdays, but I am back now. I went on a trip, I went and visited my grandpa, and then I came back and I got sick. I'm currently sick, so if you're like, why does she sound like a congested goat, that would be why. So, I wanted to film this video anyway, but if I have to take a quick break during filming to lie on the ground, you know why. So basically, before we get into this bookshelf tour, let me explain how I'm going to be doing this. I have a lot of big series like Nancy Drew, Hardy Boys, Babysitter's Club. For these series, I'm not going to be telling you every single book because there are, I have 58 um, Babysitter's Club books and I do not want to bore you. So I'm just going to be giving you the highlights of the series, my favorite books, the ones that mean a lot to me. So we can keep it quick and easy and so that I don't lose everyone's views. And, um, I do not, I have absolutely no idea how long this video is going to be. Hopefully it's not that long. I'm going to try and keep it short. So, yeah, let's get into this. This is all Nancy Drew books. They're all my grandmother's Nancy Drew books. Why am I so close to the camera? There's not a lot of space. They're all my grandmother's Nancy Drew books. Basically, if I had to give you my top three favorites, I would say I really like The Clue of the Laney Chimney. This, let me just say as well, these colors are low-key scary. Maybe it's just because they're older, but there's like, the colors are scary. I was kind of terrified as a kid. Anyways, I also like The Clue in the Jewel Box. Okay, this one, come on. It doesn't terrify you in the slightest bit. And I also really did like The Haunted Bridge because the ending wasn't that scary. And I was easily terrified as a young child. So, yeah. So, shelf number one. All old Nancy Drew books, you get it. This shelf has some Annette, which I haven't actually read. So these are some Walt Disney's Annette books that belong to my grandmother as well. And then I have some Bobsy Twins that also belong to my mother and grandmother. And I loved these as a child. They were everything. I also have a lot of Nancy Drew books. These are the Nancy Drew mystery stories. They're different than Nancy Drew... There's so many different Nancy Drew series, guys. It's really confusing. First of all, these are the Nancy Drew notebooks, which are for kids. I love these. I read them all. They're really cute. And the mysteries, I couldn't even solve them, though. So looking back on it, I was kind of... It's kind of sad because they were really easy. Okay, there it is. This is the Nutcracker Ballet Mystery. Fun fact, I used to be a ballerina, danced till I was 11 when I got a terrible knee injury and had to stop. This book is really good, actually. I solved it. Like, I never solved mysteries, and I had the satisfaction of being like, oh, I know what happens. It was the best feeling on earth. This is all Babysitter's Club. I have a few highlights. Did you know there were Babysitter's Club mysteries? No, you didn't? Okay, well, this one is the best out of all of them. It's a baking mystery. And looking back, it would have been super easy to solve, but I had absolutely no idea and was like, <gasps> boy crazy Stacy. 
so there's comic book remakes of these now so you maybe you've heard of this one um the cover the guy looks like he's 47 and she's a 14 year old girl so when I was younger don't know how I missed that but I liked anything that had to do with crushes or the slightest bit of romance when I was around eight so this was perfect for that okay shelf number four we have some fancier Nancy Drew remakes. They're just newer. They still have those same terrifying colors. Um, but probably my ultimate favorite Nancy Drew book of all time is The Bungalow Mystery. It's actually only the third book, so they peaked at three. No, I'm kidding. I still look back on it thinking it was a really good mystery, and I kind of based some stuff I've worked on and written before off of this, so. And then there was also the mystery at Lilac Inn. This book has a really cool color. I aspire my colors to be like this. If I ever get published, I want a really cool color. Okay, this cover. This. The clue of the dancing puppet. First of all, kind of terrifying title. And look at this cover. Okay, Nancy Drew, right here, strawberry and blonde hair, and then there's just a dancing ballerina puppet and like an old man standing behind it. It's, it's what nightmares are made of, okay? I'm standing on a chair. I'm actually not that tall, so yeah. Hardy Boys, they're... Okay, basically all you need to know about this is that there was this book called The Hardy Boys Detective Handbook. I, when I was younger, I wanted to become a police officer. I went through a stage where I wanted to be a detective and police officer, probably because I read so much mystery. It's kind of sad, though, because I wanted to be a police officer, and I couldn't solve the Babysitter's Club baking mystery. I'm, I'm not... I'm not pursuing that career anymore, just so you know. So these were my favorite reads as a tween. This is the Land of Stories series. I love it to pieces. Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell, The Enchantress Returns, A Grim Warning, Beyond the Kingdoms, An Author's Odyssey, and Worlds Collide. I suggest even reading these if you're a grown adult, honestly. They make me feel so warm and cozy and happy. And honestly, I cry a lot reading these books because they, I don't know, I feel so deeply connected to these characters that I just cry. Then, isn't this the coolest cover ever? This is a book called The Great Green Heist. It's about a high school heist, grade eights, pulling off a high school heist, and it is so cool. I've read it seven times, so that tells you how much I love it. It was the first book I read that made slightly inappropriate <laughs> jokes. I thought I was breaking so many rules, but really, looking back on it, they're just funny jokes. <laughs> There's also a sequel called To Catch a Cheat. Very good sequel. As for these Nancy Drew styles, let me find my favorite one. Ooh, tall, dark, and deadly. I'm not kidding, it's actually called that. Okay. Swiss Secrets. Making Waves. Fatal Attraction. Recipe for Murder. Oh, I remember that one. Heart of Danger. Where is it? Okay, two points to murder. No, where are you? Secrets can kill. Okay, here it is. A Talent for Murder. This book, if, if you don't know about Nancy and Ned, what are you doing? Because Nancy and Ned were my childhood. They're basically 
the lead romance in these books the lead love story and it doesn't really go into it in the other books but these are the best Nancy Drew books because they're the Nancy Drew files and it talks about Nancy Drew's kind of love story and teen life and best friends and tr life a little bit in a little bit more detail they're like the extra drama Nancy Drew story this is Ned and that's Amanda and that's Nancy and it's like a love triangle and I hated Amanda so much. We have the Cruel Prince series right here. The Cruel Prince, The Wicked King, Queen of Nothing. Great fantasy series. We have Hook, Line, and Singer by Tessa Bailey. Okay romance. I liked it. It was fine. It's All in How You Fall by Sarah Henning. I love that book. It's super cutesy. Out of the Left League, I have not read that. Out Round the Wind, haven't read that. Everything, Everything by Nicole Yoon, haven't read that. The Deal, a great romance. I really like that. We'll Always Have Summer, that's uh, the, in the, the Summer I Turned Pretty series. I haven't read it yet. I've only read The Summer I Turned Pretty, which I did like. We have some classics, Jane Eyre, Sense and Sensibility, Little Women, Pride and Prejudice. I haven't read them yet, but I'm looking forward to reading them, hopefully this winter but you know I never get around to my TBR so maybe it's a pipe dream. Then we have Midsummer's Mayhem. I really liked this as a kid. It was really cute and it's like retelling a Midsummer Night's Dream. Princess Academy. I haven't actually read that but I might. <laughs> then we have The Last Beautiful Girl. The horror read. I loved it. It was actually really amazing and I might reread it this autumn then we have the duff it's a really good romance book you should read it talking about titles and how they really affect us um nancy drew these are the nancy drew diaries they're different yet again this is this wait where is it this is the scariest nancy drew book i've ever read it was about a girl who literally drowned children by their feet like pulled them down underwater by their feet and drowned them at a camp it was too scary okay i haven't read this if you change your mind cute romance i'm hoping i'm reading this right now i'm in a bit of a reading slump in this book in particular i've read a lot of the other books but it's called world after it's sequel to angel fall a wrinkle in time haven't read it really want to read it have watched the movie i love the movie there's a lot of haters out there saying the movie is terrible i love it it's a work of art stolen time I haven't read this advanced reader's copy. I want to read it. I got this book at the dollar store and it looks good. It's called Little Disasters. Family drama. Don't know if I'll like it. I don't have a huge desire to read it. Let's start over here. We have a Sherlock Holmes Complete Puzzles collection. It's basically a bunch of really complex riddles that are super hard to solve. But it's really good and I've had it for a while. I'm still working my way through it. Then there's The Secret Garden. It's like a really pretty edition. I have not read it yet. So hopefully this winter, this autumn, Beauty and the Beast. Hopefully this autumn. The Shadows Between Us. I have read this. Beautiful cover. I love this book to pieces. Some Kind of Animal. I have read that. I'm... I... Uh, mm, it's okay. It's okay. There was a really cute relationship in it that I didn't see coming, so I do like that aspect. Why is the light making me look so pale? More Sherlock Holmes puzzles. I really like Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. And then we have Story Thieves, Withering Bites. I'm planning on reading that this autumn. Seems like an ultimate autumn read. The Hunger Games. I haven't read The Hunger Games. I know. I can't even believe myself. I, just, I haven't gotten around to it. And I'm 14 for crying out loud. And I haven't read The Hunger Games. Like, seriously. Then we have Twilight. I have read Twilight. We have New Moon. Haven't read New Moon yet. Saving it through this autumn because it's rainy day kind of place. I want to read it in the autumn. We have City of Bones. At the end of everything, such a sad book. It's about a worldwide pandemic. I read it in the pandemic. We're currently still in a pandemic, but I read it a few months back and it was kind of terrifying. Then we have Trouble is a Friend of Mine. I really like that book. I found it at a thrift shop and had heard nothing about it and it was really good. It was hilarious, so I suggest you read it. 
I haven't read I Tell You I Love You, but then I'd have to kill you. But I am looking forward to reading it. A Tale of Magic I have started. I really like Chris Coulter's writing. This is connected in a way to the Land Story series, so I do want to read it. I just started reading it and I was like, I miss Land of Stories and just read Land of Stories all over again. So I haven't read it. Then we have a French book called Les Dieux Livres Sont Dangereux. If you don't know, I speak French. I don't know how you would know that, but yeah, I speak French. I am almost fluent in French. I've been learning to speak French for almost 10 years now. I can read in French. I can write in French, but not confidently. If you're wanting grammatically correct writing, then no. We have The Fill-In Boyfriend by Casey West. Very good read. Fake painting. Love it. And we have The Sun is Also a Star. This book is so heartbreaking! Okay, shelf number nine. I'm not tall enough, so I have to step on a chair. I have the bookmark placed here because I have my yearbook right here. And, uh, <laughs> no one's gonna know what school I'm going to, okay. So, we have Goodnight Stories, The Rebel Girls, The Fault in Our Stars. <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about that ending, okay? The Song of Achilles, I haven't read it yet. Spy School, I have read it. It's hilarious. Read it if you want a good laugh. It's more of a tween novel, but... A Court of Mist and Theory, I have not read that yet. I'm, I'm getting to it. Then we have To Kill a Mockingbird. I haven't read it. I'm getting to it as well. And then we have Royal Revenge. Royal Revenge is actually a Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew collaboration. I know. Such things exist. Actually, I have read a Nancy Drew and Hardy Boys comic book before, and it was really good. I'll put it here if I can find it. It's so good. This- ah! Okay. Back to it. There is the Half Upon a Time series. That is a really good series. Half Upon a Time, Twice Upon a Time, Once Upon the End. I actually like it even more than Lion of Stories. I read it recently. It's just- it's everything. These are Nancy Drew girl detective books. I never liked them as much, but I do have quite a few of them. Then we have The Dead Enders. I have not read that. We have Ether the Hunted and Ether the Brave. I'm planning on reading those soon. Hopefully this autumn. Then we have The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, The Kill Order. All of those. Oh, and The Thiever Code. The only one I don't have is The Death Cure. But... I love this series so much. I haven't read The Kill Order and The Thiever Code yet. I'm getting to it, guys. I know. I read so slow. And then we have The Clue in the Jewel Box. And this one. I can't even read what it is. It's so torn up. But these are collector's editions of Nancy Drew novels. This is really pretty. They're gorgeous. That is a French uh, conjugator. It's really good. Well... <laughs> about it like it's a fictional masterpiece no it's a french conjugator and it's the only way i know how to write in french it's my savior that is all 313 of my books i have a few other books that i've lent to other people and they're really good books but you've probably seen them on my pinterest before if you're following me on there if not please follow me on my pinterest i hope you were mildly entertained by this and yeah, that's all 313 of my books. Bye!